Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome to my first FIFA 18 trading video on my channel. And in today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you the best inform trading method on FIFA 18, in my opinion. So what you want to do for the quality, you want to put it to special, then you want to find the cheapest inform card on the market, and usually it's somewhere between 9,000 to 8,500 coins. So as you can see, it looks like it's just a bit cheaper than 9,000 coins, maybe 8.7. Um, so 8.5, while these are actually deals, I'm going to try and see if I can pick them up. So we're getting some live deals straight away. Now, um, if you look uh, later on in the video, I'm going to be showing you guys some of the deals that I did go and pick up earlier. Now, these are actually really good deals. Um, this is probably a bit of a fluke or a bit of a coincidence that all these deals have come up, you know, straight away. But earlier, I was sniping these cards for around 8,500 coins. I managed to pick up about four of them. And then I sold them all on for 9,200. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep hold of these cards for a few minutes. And hopefully his price should go up to around 9.2k. Again, I don't know why suddenly so many of these cards have um, came on the market. Now, as you can see, the most, or sorry, the cheapest inform on the market at the moment is this guy. His name's Fusu. He's an English guy from, I think that's uh, Charlton Athletic. Now, the reason he's on the market and there's so many of them is just because he is the only silver inform in this team of the week and you will realize when using this method whatever your silver informs are in the team of the week as long as they're not like an overpowered silver player like Emre Moore they will usually you know be the discard um, the cheapest inform on the market and go for or just above the discard price so um, now I'm gonna try and snipe some of these cards so it looks like the cheapest is probably around 8.2k but again I think these are deals um, as you can see there, none for 8.5, there we go, the, his pri the prices have started to gone, uh, go back up again, so it looks like it's about 8.9k, so just under 9,000 coins, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try and snipe some for around 8.4k, and I'm going to try and get a live deal here, um, earlier on, in, you will see later on in the video that I did manage to pick up around 4 deals in about 2 minutes earlier, and they all went on to sell for around 9,200 coins, so let's see if we can get a live deal now. Um, usually the cards come up around, I would say, probably every one to two minutes. So it's a pretty good method. Um, you just The only bad thing is you can get market banned quite easily using this method. Um, the best way i found to refresh the market when um, sniping um, isn't this way because I seem to get like banned quite quickly this way. I usually, what I do, I find the cheapest card on the market. What, maybe? See, straight away, guys, as I said at the start of the video when I was picking up those deals for 7.9k, I knew his price was, you know, going to go back up to... Um, 9k straight away um so it looks like the cheapest is 8.9k now so what i'm going to do i'm going to just go around 9.1k go to the 59th minute and i'm just going to press x to keep refreshing the market now because it's 9,000 coins will be around 450 ea um coins of ea tax so basically you want to try and pick these cards up for 8.5 that seems a good price so there we go, we've got and got, gone and got our first deal of the episode. So I'm going to go and list this guy up for 9,000 coins and he should sell pretty quickly. We're only making um, 50 coins profit, what isn't the best. And I'm also going to go and list up those deals I picked up earlier. So um, yeah, I'm going to list all of these ones up for around 9,000 coins and hopefully when I come back they should be able to sell on. So you know, this is just such an easy and simple method. There we go, one of them's gone and sold straight away for 9,000 coins and now my other one's going to sold for 9,000 coins as well so this is just the best method on FIFA to make coins so I'm just going to go and list these ones up for 9k they're probably my insta sell for 9,000 coins because what a lot of people do they use these cheap low rated informs um, in order to you know transfer coins from one account to another so say if they pack like a really good player on the second account and they want to transfer the coins over you can buy one of these cards for around 7,000 coins uh, well 9,000 coins and then you can go and list them up for 65k so you know it's a really easy way to transfer coins and that's why these cards will always sell even though they don't have you know the best of stats so there we go we've gone and list that one up for 9,000 coins again they're just selling basically straight away the minute I'm listing them up um, so I'm just going to wait for these three to sell and then I'm going to show you the three deals I'm sorry the four deals that I went and picked up earlier when doing this method now what you will realize um, throughout the day you know the prices of these plays do fluctuate quite a lot so what you could even do, you could buy um, a lot of these, you know, a lot of the low rated informs for around 8,000 coins um, early in the morning. Then in the evening around this time, um, what's the um, current time of recording, this is 8.30. Um, so then you can sell them on for a nice 1k profit each card. And you say if you pick up, I don't know, 20 of these cards, you're going to be making some really nice profit. So that's another way to make coins um, in not just sniping, you can also, you know, invest in these cards. So guys, I'm now going to show you the deals that I went and picked up earlier and I'll be right back. 
So these are the deals that I managed to pick up earlier that I was talking about. So we're going to snipe that Fosu there for 8,300 coins. We miss out on the original one, but then someone relists a card for 8,300 and then we go and pick up. So we're going to put that one on our transfer list. So that was the first deal we got. Then after that, again, I continued, you know, using this method, trying to snipe those cheapest informs on the market. And then straight away, all of these deals were picked up in around two to three minutes. So, you know, not long at all. For some reason, um, I think someone was just listing a load of them on the market. So I got very lucky and managed to pick up, you know, the majority of them. So we're going to get another one there for 8,500 coins. Then we get another one for 8,400 coins. And now at the current time or the time I was recording, you know, these clips, as you see now, he was going for around 9,200 coins. So I go and list mine up for 9,200 coins um, in the end. Then after that, we go and get another one here for 8,500 coins. So we're making only 50 coins again. Um, after EA tax but you know profits profit and at the end of the day eventually you know over time all that profit you made is going to build up so in this clip here as you can see I'm listing up all the cards so we got that one for 9.4 and then we go and list it up for 9.2 and the Begovic on my transfer, um, transfer list just ignore him um, he has nothing you know to do with this video so then we go and list up another one there for 8,000 I'm um, sorry 9,200 we list another one there for 9,200 um, and then we got that one for 8.5 at least for 9.2k so we're making just over 300 coins profit after EA tax but it's pretty nice and then as you can see when I come back all the cars did go on to sell so guys this is going to be the end of the video if you have enjoyed it and want to see more FIFA 18 training videos don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time